only opened his eponymous restaurant here in June 2006. It's still early days, but he has a clear mission. We have a philosophy here in the, in the restaurant which we call from, from nature to play. We're hugely passionate about it. So the Langestines coming, they're here within an hour, an hour of coming off the bone. They're in here in my kitchen. For me, that means everything. And Tom's policy has paid off. It took him just eight months to earn a Michelin star, but he's very much his own man. I think once you start cooking for Michelin stars, you, you're cooking for other people's palates. You want to cook for your own palate. You cook what you enjoy eating. Fair enough, but today Tom has to please a guest even more formidable than a Michelin judge. It's great to have Matthew here. He's very well respected in the trade and uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what he thinks of my food. Will Matthew be impressed enough to keep Tom in the Great British Menu competition? So what are you going to be serving up for me today? I'm going to do a bond and rolled pig's head with roasted langoustines with a crispy ear salad. Oh! There was only one main course that I could possibly do, and for me that's got to be a grouse. Pig's head is an unusual meat, and the accompanying crispy ear salad is a quirky take on pork scratchings. With langoustine, we're on more familiar ground, but will the combination work? The main course is following the Scottish game tradition. Grouse is much sought after when in season, but will Tom do it justice? Joining Matthew at the table is Scottish Sunday Times food critic Alan Brown. Tom first registered on the, on the, you know, the wider consciousness as, I think, you know, Scotland's youngest ever chef to ever, to ever get a, a Michelin star. I mean, the thing about Michelin stars is they're principally about food rather than about restaurants. It's principally about what's on the plate. And first on the plate will be a pig's head. Hopefully Matthew's going to enjoy it. With the ears and cheek removed, Tom uses the rest of the head for stock. Nothing goes to waste in the kitchen restaurant. Nothing goes to waste. After slow cooking the cheek in stock for eight hours, Tom strips the meat from the fat and lays it on a bed of skin before topping it with fresh langoustine. The mixture is rolled and chilled for six hours. Then it's sliced and fried closely followed by more langoustine, or prawns, as they're called round here. You won't get better prawns anywhere in the world than this. Tom makes a pig's ear julienne. Always spits, you always get burned in this, I tell you. People love the crackling, don't they? Everyone loves the crackling. Pork jus and apple sauce signal plating up. For a man who doesn't do fancy, there are a lot of elements to this dish. From start to finish, it takes over two days. So has it been time well spent? There's a lot going on here. This little lace of, um, of pig's ear, just very finely sliced and on the fry. I think it's absolutely divine. They made a silk purse from it. <laughs> now, this is a really complex dish, and it's, there are a lot of different parts to it. And this is what you might say, a sort of high-maintenance dish. But is a high-maintenance dish truly representative of modern British cooking? Having served such a visually spectacular starter, Tom's got quite an act to follow with his main. So here, here I've got the grouse. It's been eating the heather from the mountains. It's been eating the blueberries, and uh, it's, it's just a wonderful tasting bird. Grouse is a great Scottish tradition. Tom's now got to turn it into a great modern dish. When you cook it on the bone, Everything becomes moist, all the flavour stays inside the bird. It's, it's a much superior way of cooking. Beautiful. This is, this is Scottish, you know. If you want to talk about Scottish produce, grouse is the, the bird of the moment in Scotland.